Hello guys, this is my new egg incubator from Bevor. Sorry for my pronunciation. Some people will ask, what are you doing with an incubator? Don't worry, I don't want to open a chicken farm, snake farm, uh, crocodile farm, turtle farm, and so on. But I will use as a fridge to preserve and cure my homemade cold cuts and homemade cheese, homemade salami, and so on. Why? Because the temperature range is of this, uh, we can call fridge, because it's easier, is between 5 and 60 Celsius degree, or between 40 and 140 Fahrenheit degree. So it's perfect to cure your cold cuts or homemade cheese. Some people uh, use it also to let the dough mature inside for pizza or for bread. Or if you have a small fermenter, you can use, uh, you can put the fermenter inside and use to make a lager beer, for example. But because it's something new, I need to check the instruction and I will unplug it. No, I will plug in in the power. And when reach the right temperature, I will update you and give you all the information. So see you tomorrow. Very easy to use it. You need only to connect the cable and the cable to the power and your uh, fridge is working already. You have also the, the option to connect it to your car with this adapter. Maybe if you, like me, move so often, you can keep the temperature of your salami, your cheese, or if you are using for the eggs remember that you have this option so you can move from one place to another using the car without change, changing the temperature there is also the option about the noise now i'll let you know like this there is the fan you make a little bit of more noise like this is more silent here you can increase here you can decrease the temperature and here you have the light on and off. So now I put also the instrument inside with the salami. I will check the temperature and the humidity and I will let you know. So I'll see you in a few days. After five days I can update you about my incubator slash fridge if it's working properly or not. So for the salami I need a constant temperature around 14 Celsius degree and the humidity should be 75 percent. So with the instrument that I put inside I check and like you can see the temperature is perfect 14 uh, Point 0.1 so 14 Celsius degree also if you the screen here the monitor show 13 so there is this error but my problem now so the fridge is working properly but because it's well uh, done so it's properly sealed the humidity cannot go out so the humidity at the moment inside is 93% very high so how we can solve this problem for our salami or our cold cuts we can put a glass of sea salt inside the salt we collect the humidity and the humidity will drop let's try remember the goal is 14 celsius degree that we already reach at 75 percent of humidity
the advice to put the salt inside is a good advice because we collect a little bit of humidity but like you have noticed when I move the fridge I do it in purpose there was a lot of water inside at least another half glass of water that went out so after one month because I check it for one month I went to Istanbul, I start the harvesting of the grapes, I start to make the wine, and the time goes long even better, because if you check uh, the information that I collect from the instrument, the sensor that I put inside, for the first three weeks, everything was perfect. Standard temperature and the humidity was going down. But the last week, so after four weeks, there was a problem you can see that the temperature go up and down, up and down, up and down. Why? Because like now I show you inside where there is the component that make cold air is frozen, there is ice. So if somebody will ask me, should I buy it and use it from the beginning to the end to make salami or cheese? My answer will be no, don't buy it. But if you want to combine this with a regular fridge, could be an, a good idea. Because at the beginning, when you make uh, your salami or when you make your cheese, you need a little bit of humidity and the constant temperature. In this way, the mold can grow on the top of the cheese or, or the gut or the skin of the salami. Like you can see, the mold on my salami is really spectacular. So you make your salami and you keep here for one week and after you put in a regular fridge or you make your uh, brie cheese, camembert cheese, gorgonzola cheese, one week, 10 days and after you should put in a regular fridge. This is my opinion and after if you buy it you can use it also when you make uh, the pizza dough. Some people uh, let the dough grow for 72 hours again the humidity will be perfect the temperature you can adjust it or when you make a panettone or when you make um, pandoro all this kind of dough that you need a long fermentation you can use this one will be perfect okay guys remember to subscribe to the channel to me like it to watch and share this video with your friends. You can find the link under this video if you want to buy it. And remember, please, to leave your comment. Let us know what do you think about this or if you have some advice to improve this or to modify a regular fridge to use uh, again for uh, salami, for cheese, maybe for wine. Let us know down in the comments. Bye-bye.